as a Colombian, how can you spot like a foreigner? Like, is it obvious usually or like what is like? <laughs> Welcome back to How to Expert. My name is Tasha and I'm here with my friend Anna, Hello. which is our partner and our friend. And so she's Colombian and today we're going to talk about expats in Medellin actually. So first things first, do you see a lot of expats slash foreigners here in Medellin? Yes, Tasha, I see a lot of foreigners that are arriving now to the city of Medellin. So in the last year, the city and the government has been investing a lot of money into getting events, international events for the city. So with those events and with the transformation of the city, I think it has opened a new, um, a new landscape for getting new people and to getting more foreigners from all parts of the world. And we get mostly Venezuelan people, that's the that foreigners that we get most. And then the second country that visits Colombia and the city is Americans, like from the United States. So okay. it has been a big growth since 2008 to last year. It has been a growth about 160% of growing in a touristic area. So it's a, a lot of people. It is a lot of people. So as a Colombian, how can you spot like a foreigner? Like, is it obvious usually or like, what is like <laughs> the secret to spot the foreigner here in Medellin? <laughs> I don't want to be disrespectful and I hope I don't <laughs> offend anyone with what I'm going to say. But <laughs> yes, Colombians can spot people from other places pretty easy. One is because bone is structure. <laughs> If you're from the States, you'll see, uh, as a man, uh, and I think most women too, their bone is structure, you're bigger than Colombians. Colombians are tiny people, we're smaller, we're not that tall. And if you go to our bathrooms, you will see that our bathrooms are pretty tiny. <laughs> so. One thing that we can spot you from is just your your body. Just without talking, without saying anything, just if you're taller and everything, we can spot. But if you're blonde and blue eyes. And blonde like... blue eyes, yeah, that will help Clearly. right away. Yes. And another way that we can spot you is because of the dress, how you dress. So usually uh, a lot of tourists, especially in the United States, they walk around with shorts with sandals or like flip-flops flip -flops, with socks and, and a big old camera around the neck a big old camera <laughs> and then you, you whether you have a cap or a hat and that makes you like get spotted really easy so this is more like a matter of security probably we can spot you without the short but even so like if you can adapt to the culture and to how everybody dresses up you might pass as a Colombian a little bit more And that would help into keeping you safe and to them being extra exposed in the in the city. So, are there any tips you want to give our viewers, like for foreigners and expats? Any tips in general you want to give them at the end of this video? Okay, let's go with tips. One tip that I will suggest is try to understand the culture. Don't act like you own the country or like you own the city because I have seen that uh, that attitude a lot and I think it's a little bit disrespectful to try to understand the culture and try to relate more to the Colombian people regarding questions as drug cartels and as drug uh, characters that you already know please be very conscious about it and understand that there is a lot of people who were hurt by that uh, at that time and that era of violence in our country so I would say with respect to our culture to try to understand another tip would be to don't give papaya no de papaya don't give papaya is basically don't don't, don't give them a reason to, to rob you yeah. kind of <laughs> like don't be with your phone all the time like around showing don't be with a lot of cash in your pocket you don't need a lot of cash keep a just, just a little bit of cash for whatever you need and keep the other cash in your hotel room. A lot of the restaurants that often you will go, they will take credit cards, so you don't need to carry all your um, all your with cash you. with you. Mm -hmm. I will also suggest don't carry ever your passport with you, just carry a color copy of your um, main, main page yeah. with all the information and then your stamp. If the police gets to stop you, you just show the, the passport with the stamp that says when did you get into the country. That would be another tip. Um, be aware 
if you're going to bars, if you're going to uh, clubs, be aware of your drinks, be aware of the people that you're surrounded with. There is still people who will uh, try to take care about, take advantage. advantage of you, and mm -hmm. like just be aware of your surroundings. Understand that Medellin is a city of transformation. Medellin is a great city, and overall, it's a I would say safe city. I don't feel not safe. So yeah. I would say this is a safe city. Just be aware of your surroundings, be aware of the people that you're getting into, and just try to understand and be humble of what the city can offer to you. That would be some of the tips that I can offer right now. Perfect. So awesome. thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. As you might know, um, Anna is a partner of ours. So if you want to work with her, our relocation services are in the link down below. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.